Thank you.
Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. My name is Ruel Gaviola and welcome to Words on Wednesday. This is a new show that I'm putting together. I'd like to start doing this every other Wednesday where I focus on word games and also crossword puzzles and show off a couple of new books and or graphic novels thanks to uh, publishers who send them out to me. I am a voracious, well, I was a voracious reader back in the day. I don't read as much as I do, um, as much as I'd like to these days. But, you know, I think this is one way to start getting back on the uh, the book bandwagon, as they say. Um, I get books um, and graphic novels uh, occasionally from publishers, and I've done this in the past where I'll, you know, read some excerpts and sort of, like, you know, hype them up because... You know, as the old saying goes, reading is fundamental. Uh, but thank you for joining me this morning or afternoon or evening, wherever you may be. Uh, normally I play board games on my channel, but again, this is something I'd like to do along with uh, Lego streams that Michelle and I have been doing just to change things up a little bit, keep the keep the channel fresh. And it, it'll still be primarily focused on board games, of course, because that's my passion and that's what I love to do. But, you know, like anything in life, you know, I've got other things going on as well. So, again, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me today. Uh, Brenner was the first uh, person here, here this morning. Well, the first person to speak up. Uh, thank you, Brenner. I hope you're doing well. Uh, you say that um, still taking a, a little while to get going. I totally understand. This is actually a, a earlier time for me to stream. I've done streams this early before, uh, but I, I sort of got away from that. Again, I, I've talked about this the last few weeks where I'm trying to find different um, time slots uh, to do my streams. And, you know, part of it is I, I do like a regular schedule, but at the same time, I like that flexibility of saying, hey, today I want to stream a little later, a little earlier. But I do want to get uh, do this show uh, 8 a.m. here on the Pacific Coast uh, every uh, every other Wednesday, and then I'll have my normal board game streams on at certain times as well, and then I'll have like a day or one day or two days where I'm flexible and just sort of say, hey, what the heck today? I'm gonna play, you know, at this time or whatever. Uh, but uh, thank you for hanging out. Uh, Brenner says board games are being great practices. Thank you. Yeah, I was. Um, I, I think I've told this story before. Um, uh, you may not, some of you may not have heard this, but back in the day when I was a, a child, my mom was, I mean, she read constantly. That was her uh, passion, her joy. Uh, she would actually work the night shifts. Uh, she was a nurse um, and she would work night shifts and she'd come home, you know, and during the day she'd sleep. But, you know, uh, when I would see her during the day, she always had a book in hand. Um, she really loved romance novels. Uh, I don't know if you, uh, Barbara, Barbara Cartland is the one I remember. She had a ton of those books by that author. And it's funny because her, you know, I'd see her reading and, uh, you know, that, that was her passion. But what's funny is, so after my mom had read all these books, you know, they took up a lot of space. These were like paperbacks, hardbacks all over the house. Um, not all over the house, but, you know, all over the shelves. And, you know, she would read them once and, you know, she'd enjoy them. But, you know, they started collecting and collecting. And uh, my dad occasionally would gather a bunch of them that she was done with, put them in a box. And he'd take me and my brothers out to the local used bookstore. And he would trade them in for credit. And... The thing that really got me into reading was were these trips to this bookstore because not only looking at the books, but my dad would get all this credit, like you know, twenty dollars in credit back in the day was like, oh my gosh, that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of books, or in this case, comic books. So we would trade my mom's old books and get credit at the bookstore, and my dad say, hey, just get whatever you whatever you can afford here and on this credit. Let's buy comic books and you know, Spider Man. Batman, you know, actually more Marvel. We were more Marvel kids, me and my brothers, but, you know, I would still get Batman comics, but uh, Spider-Man was the, the one for us. Um, Spider-Man, the X-Men, my brothers were really into the X-Men, and um, you know, one that I'm still, I still love to this day is Gru the Wanderer, um, a, a comic by Sergio Aragones and Mark Evanier. It's still being published today, all these years later. I love it. It's like, almost like uh, it's like slapsticky uh, humor and uh, like a lot of ins inside silly jokes. And uh, Sergio Aragones, if you don't know, he's the artist. Um, well, he did. I don't know if he still does, but for years, decades, he was the guy that drew the little cartoons in the margins of Mad Magazine. And I don't know if Mad Magazine is still being published, but if you look in the margins, all those little funny comics, uh, that, that was, those were his um, uh, drawings. And he did this comic grew is just uh it's a I highly recommend it's so funny that's yoda good morning hello good to see you here uh brenner says the uh, time slot isn't bad for the east coast and morning pit yes 
And that's one thing, um, you know, I normally do mine like at 7 p.m. Pacific, and I know that's 10 p.m. East Coast, and I don't know what time that is in Europe, but I know at 8 a.m., this would be, I think this might be closer to prime time for the UK. And uh, Dutch Yoda, I know that um, this is probably a, a more decent time. Like Dutch Yoda, I feel like never sleeps. I, he's always awake, uh, but I feel like this is probably a better time for you. Uh, 8 a.m. here in the Pacific Coast. To live in nice in LA. Hello, welcome. Thank you, friend. To live in nice in LA is uh, our chat moderator, folks. So please stay in line and or else to live in Dice Nelly is busting out that ban hammer. I don't think you've had to ban anyone yet. No, luckily no bots, but just in case, keep things family friendly and uh, be kind to each other in chat, friends. Um, yeah, Dutch Yoda, only 4 p.m. Yeah, we'll change up. Oh, after the weekend, it's going to change. But yeah, 4 p.m. I feel like is a little more reasonable time. So what I've got planned for words on Wednesday, as I've said, um, I, I've stated this earlier, I'm going to read uh, some excerpts from books. Um, I'm going to preview graphic novels. I'm going to play word-based games. And I'll do a crossword puzzle, too. It's about an hour-long show. Um, today, definitely one hour. Like, right at 9, I am cutting this off because I'm going to go visit my brother. Um, we've uh, got... We, I haven't seen him in a, a, about a... Uh, actually, a little over a month and a half. But I just want to go hang out. Um, he's out in... Uh, uh, you know, he's about an hour away uh, from me. So we want to hang out and just, you know, grab some lunch and, you know, catch up and stuff like that. So um, I saw my other brother uh, last week. Um, got to see, it was really cool. My niece was, in, you know, she's getting a little older. Um, I mean, she's still in, uh, you know, school, but she was in her first, or at least we saw her in her first uh, musical. Um, she she played some minor roles, but she was great, and the production was nice. So I got to see, him. so I have two younger brothers, and that's I saw him, and then I'm seeing my second brother uh, today. We're just going to hang out, uh, have some lunch, and then... Also today, I got, you know, I'm going to get a haircut. I mean, I know there's not much here, but what I do every now and then, I like to treat myself to a, you know, I guess a guy's spa day, right? For me, at least. And uh, you go get, you know, my head shaved with the <clears throat> straight razor, really, really close shave. Because I, I usually, you know, shave my head myself with, you know, uh, electric razor. And it, it, gets, it does a good job, but nothing like a straight razor. And I don't trust myself with a straight razor. Like, I, you know, if I try to do that, you know, kill myself. But, um... <laughs> Uh, I go to the professionals. There's a barber here in town that I've been going to for about a year now, and it's, that's my that's my you know that's my boy, uh, my boy Josh. He always hooks it up. Uh, he shaves uh, with a, a straight razor, and then he trims the beard. So, not this won't be going away, but it's gonna, definitely going to be a lot more neat and trimmed, um, which I know Michelle is going to be uh, real appreciative of. And speaking of Michelle, she's the one that actually she treated me. She knew how much I love this barber shop. So for um, Christmas or my birthday? Oh my gosh, now I forget. I think it was my birthday. Uh, she surprised me with a gift certificate to this uh, barbershop. So thank you. Thank you to uh, my lovely wife, Michelle. Uh, she's actually in uh, her office right now. And um, yeah, I'm getting ready to do words on Wednesday. Here we are. Um, Brenner says, me either. I'm clumsy. Yeah, you know, you got to be careful with straight razors. Uh, Madi for the great good. Thank you uh, to live in Dice LA. We're going to jump right into it, folks. Let's take a look at what we've got here. Normally, I have games on the table. Today, I've got, well, let me get the keyboard out of the way here. Today, I've got a couple of things. Not only do I have a game, I've got a book and a graphic novel. Um, let's take a look at this. So, we're going to play Wordsy in a little bit. If you've never played Wordsy and you're a word game fan, this is a top five for me. I absolutely love this. Um, it plays, I think, one to six players. Uh, yeah, one to six wordsmiths. Um, it has a really simple solo mode that I'm going to be playing, and you all will be able to uh, see how that goes. I think it's just a wonderful game. It plays in about 20 minutes. Uh, the solo game is even quicker. I think I played a couple of games last night, like 10 minutes each or whatever. But wonderful game, one of my top fives. Uh, what I'm gonna, we're also going to look at uh, Amora, book one, The Stranger of the Statue. This is now on Kickstarter. Actually, They've got like, I think less than two days left. I'm gonna drop the info in the chat here. Um, <clears throat> this is from our friends at Ivy Studio. Ivy Studios, they're doing this thing called Ivy Labs, which is basically their staff's pa passion project. So this is done by Michael Cribbs. He is the, I think, art director over there at Ivy Studios. And this is the first uh, passion project that Ivy Studios has published by one of their um, uh, employees. So this is, I'm really excited to show you this. But what we're going to start with first is Star Wars. I mean, y'all know how much of a Star Wars fan I am. And um, here, this is the Tempest Runner. Whoops. Uh, a little zoom in there. Uh, <clears throat> this just came in from Delray Books. I'm going to hydrate real quick, folks. Hydrate with me if you can. 
all this talking. Um, the High Republic. This is uh, the time before. Uh, okay, so you have your your like standard Star Wars timeline, right? The Skywalker saga. This takes place, I think, a couple of hundred years before that. So before Obi Wan Kenobi was born and all that stuff, there it's like the prequel to the prequels, basically. So what they've been doing is they've been coming out with books in this uh, this part of the universe, and they all, I think there's also uh, comic books or graphic novels as well. But they've sent me this uh, this is the latest one, and <clears throat> let me check the press release real quick. Uh, okay, it is on sale now on, on sale March 15th. So it went on sale last week. Uh, this is the Tempest Runner by uh, Kevin Scott. Now this is a script. Uh, this is, uh, I believe they use this for a uh, audiobook um, and or let me, uh, again, let me check the press release here. Um, well, he, he is a, uh, apparently Kevin Scott is a UK number one bestseller uh, author, bestselling author. Okay. So anyways, I've previewed some of the um, High Republic books before and I haven't finished uh, one yet. I think I started Light of the Jedi. So again, this is stuff before the Skywalker saga. And from what I've read and seen, I think, did I check out a graphic novel? Oh shoot, I forgot. But from what I've seen and what uh, my friends have said who are Star Wars fans, it's really cool. Um, uh, yet another expansion of the Star Wars universe. Now this one is a script. So what you're gonna do, it's gonna, it, you're reading this like a screenplay. So I'll give you a, a little bit here. So Tempest Run by Kevin Scott. <coughs> oh, here's the timeline, by the way. The High Republic here. And then as you can see, the Phantom Menace and so forth. So this is way before, you know, the Skywalkers were a thing, right? So, okay, here it is. Light of the Jedi, I started reading. I think I previewed the Rising Storm. This is Tempest Runner, Fallen Star, and then Doku and Master and Prentice. Okay. And then, of course, you have uh, Rogue One, the main, uh, the original trilogy here, and then the sequel trilogy. <clears throat> here are the cast of characters. And then the Tempest Runner. You'll have to pretend with me, friends, announcer, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, I'm not gonna do the music, but y'all, y'all, y'all understand what I'm doing here. So, uh, the High Republic Temp Storm by Kevin Scott. I'm just gonna read the uh, intro, and then we'll uh, move on. So, the galaxy mourns. The villainous Neil have struck, killing thousands at the Republic Fair on Valo and unleashing the monstrous Drengear on the galaxy. In the wake of the atrocity. Chancellor Linna So has tasked the Jedi with leading the response against the Nihil. With the Drenger destroyed, Nihil leader Martian Roe orders his forces to scatter among the stars, safe in the knowledge that the Jedi don't even know he exists. Instead, the Jedi believe that the Twilight Tempest runner Lorna D is the malevolent eye of the Nihil. Now the hunter has become the hunted, with D on the run from both Jedi and Republic forces. She will not go down without a fight part one retreat and as you can see again this is a like a screenplay you got scene one at the cantina ah. and you know how the song goes right uh so here we are so this is uh the entire um <coughs> book is tempest runner the star wars high republic a um script by kevin scott and there it is i mean this thing's huge it's like yeah uh like almost 600 pages crazy long uh, but, oh, there's the author right there, Kevin Scott. All right. So, there it is, a Tempest Runner uh, in the Star Wars High Republic. Let's get back to... Whoop. Um, now, we're going to take a look at Amora. This is book one of the Stranger and Statue. Now, of course, because this is on Kickstarter, folks, I'm not going to spoil it. Um, I, we are going to take a, a look at... I'll, I'll look at the first couple of pages. But, I, actually, I'm going to flip right through and show you. This is a pre-production uh, copy, by the way. So uh, this, I mean, uh, it, it's a really, a really nicely put together. I, I was checking this out last night and um, <clears throat> beautiful, beautiful book. Okay, let's take a look. I'll get a little close up here. So Mora, book one, The Stranger in the Statue by Michael Cribbs. Story and art by, uh, again, uh, let me check my notes here. It does say Michael Cribbs is the art director of IV Studios. And it's the first project to be published through Ivy Labs. And again, that is, you know, their, their, um, 
passion projects over there at Ivy Studios. So let's take a closer look here. Um, Mora, book one, The Stranger and the Statue. Yeah, so we get a little closer here. They will come for her. These words have haunted me for 10 years since that midsummer night when she came into this world. Growing up, I heard the myths of the lost children and took them as the stories they were. But now, with Amora, they are more than just words. She is all I have in this world, and it would break me to lose her. Every day I keep a watchful eye on her with those ever cold words haunting the edge of my mind. They will come for her. Hello? Where is everyone? Am I dreaming? Hello? Anybody? What happened to the village? And friends, that's all you're going to get. That's that's it. I don't want to spoil it. Uh, this is book one of The Stranger and the Statue, Amora. I'm going to drop the link in chat one more time. Please check it out on Kickstarter. They've got less than two days there. Um, our friends at Ivy Studios, they, they're the ones uh, that put out Veiled Fate, uh, Moonrakers and um, uh, right now it's oh, I don't know when it's gonna be fulfilling but the latest project is um, uh, Mythic Mischief which is all three of those games Ivy Studios if you don't know there are a company to watch their compo just their games are s awesome uh, gameplay is fantastic but the components and the artwork everything they I mean they're they're an animation studio folks so that's um, uh, the the Ivy they kicked off Ivy Games uh, after you know they've established themselves as Ivy Studios. They're animation studios, so all their stuff, I mean, just amazing. And um, so this is their first project of Ivy Labs. Very happy. Thank you again to Austin and his team uh, for sharing this with me. I'll be enjoying this off screen uh, for the next couple of days. So thank you, Austin. And let's move on, friends. Again, thank you for joining me. This is Words on Wednesday. We uh, preview books, graphic novels, and play word games. And the word game we're going to play today is Wordsy. A game by Gil Hova uh, over there on for, uh, for, Formal Ferret Games. And I actually picked up this copy a years ago um, thanks to a recommendation from Bebo, actually. Remember Bebo back in the day? Uh, she was doing uh, videos for different companies. And um, I stumbled across her video for Wordsy uh, while I was at like Barnes & Noble. I saw the game. And actually, maybe it was... Was it on here? Um... No, okay, on the shrink wrap of this, I remember this distinctly. When I was at um, Barnes & Noble, I saw Wordsy. I'd heard about the game before. I was like, okay, whatever. You know, I like word games. I, I have no idea what this is. There was like a little st um, sticker here on the shrink wrap, uh, like a QR code or something. You, you, pr you uh, followed that link, and she did like this two-minute video or three-minute video on it. And I was like, oh, sold. This looks wonderful. And sure enough, it's become quickly, it quickly became one of my favorite word games uh, ever. So uh, they actually have an app. It's called Aval, A-V-O-W-E-L, uh, like Aval. Uh, it's a free app. And well, anytime I feel a little like, okay, sometimes I feel a little cocky, right? I'm like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm crushing at Wordsy. Anytime I feel like that, I just go on that app, play hard mode, or I play against other people and I get demolished. It People there, don't, no, they don't play out there. I'll tell you that. Um, they, there are some real, I'm talking about wordsmiths, you know, I feel like I'm okay at word games, but going against, uh, going against some of those, I call them the pros. Oh my gosh. They, yeah, it, it's, it's a humbling experience. So, but it, you know, it's good to play against them because then I start learning new words that, you know, can, uh, pl uh I can use for this game. Uh, so this is really, uh, it's a different take on word games. Let me uh, set it up real quick here. So you fill these in. And you'll notice there are no vowels that are going to come out. These are only consonants, folks. Oops. Oh, are these upside down now? Oh, okay. Now I see what they're doing. Okay. So M, C, S, and R. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. And there's the word sheet. Um, I'll be playing the solo game. So this goes over here. I'm going to explain it real quick here. Though, what I love about this, uh, quick hydration real quick. What I love about this game, it's really easy to explain. There are no vowels in this deck of cards. And what you're going to do, we have a timer here. We're going to set the timer and you have, you're going to create a word, one word. 
and uh, no proper nouns and then they say you know use find a dictionary dictionary of your choice uh, to score um, basically I'm gonna come up with a word and then write it down okay and so just let's just say I say I create the room uh, word room R O O M right R O O M again no vowels so if that's my word room I would score the points that there are in the for that column so I use one R and an M so five plus four is nine points okay so obviously you're trying to use as many letters as you can to get the highest score possible you're gonna do that for seven rounds so seven words and then you take your five highest um, scores, add them, and then you will uh, have your final score. Now, <clears throat> there are speed bonuses, but here's the thing. It's a real-time game, but it has it's really, um, I, I would say, non-real-time friendly. So if you're the first person to score in a multiplayer game, yes, you will get a bonus for being first. But um, And then you can get a... But then everyone else, just because you finished first doesn't mean that you, you know, you are, um, you, you just because you finish first doesn't mean anyone else doesn't have time to continue their words. They still have time. Uh, they, you're going to, there's no timer, but then who, if you're first, you take the timer, flip it around, then everyone else has that much time to complete their word. So you can play, you can, you can play a little slower or you can play really quick. It just depends. Um, in the solo game, it's a little different. I'll explain that. So then uh, you will get bonus points based on if you're the first person, uh, let me verify that. I was just playing solo, and it's a little different than uh, the um, uh, multiplayer game. So, um, they were the fastest player, and they scored more points. So, that's where they get this bonus here. Is that right? Let's say, uh, come on, fastest player. Um, okay, and then if you score more points than the fastest player... So the faster player would score, and then if you score more points than the faster player, you would get bonus points, okay? And uh, again, uh, th those rules you can check out online. Um, they're just, they're, it's really simple. Uh, in a solo game though, what I'm doing is I'm going to start this clock, and if I um, get a word before the clock has uh, gone all the way down, I'll just lay it on its side, and I'll, I'll talk about how it goes. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. Thank you again, folks. We are playing Wordsy. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me today. And I'm going to start the clock. And I'm looking here. I'm going to see what word I'm going to do. And here we go. Um, I'm thinking CR. I want to use these for sure. So I'm thinking mascara is one. Um, messaging is another. Messengers. Uh, messengers might be a good one. Uh, yeah. Um, track. Uh, again, I'm running out of time here, so I'm gonna go with um, messengers. So I stop the clock. Um, actually, I was supposed to write it down first. So but messengers. Okay. So my first word is messengers. Let's uh, see what I did. So I did M E S S E N G E R S. Okay. So I've got five, ten, fourteen, seventeen, nineteen points. Okay. Usually you want to score around 20 points, okay? Uh, so 19 points, and let me get the solo rules here just in case. <clears throat> okay, I've scored 19 words. Uh, if I were successfully able to pause the timer, which I did, and my word is worth at least 15 points, check a bonus spot. And the bonus spot is I get the one with the larger bonus because I am at the top part of this solo um, card here. So I, I'll be getting a plus two at the end of the game. Okay. Now, that's and around one. That's it, folks. It's super quick, right? Now I take these four letters and discard them, slide these down, and then just refill. And we do it again. Super easy, right? Okay. I got a D, a P, an L, and a B. Okay. Uh, there is a rule called the 2 plus 2 rule. That means no more than two letters, uh, two similar letters. So you can only have like up to two M's or S's or whatever. Well, if you have a third, you just discard it and um, uh, replace it. Um, and also this letter here, I did not use this last time. This, these are called the rare letters. So K's and Q's and Z's, they're going to give you a bonus. So if this K was here, I used it, it would be five plus one, six points. Uh, same thing, the rule of two and two, you can only have two of each letter and you can only have two of the rare letters at once. If you have more than two, you just discard and refill. 
Okay, so I'm almost out of time for this one. So uh, let's get ready and I'm going to turn the clock over. I've got that much time. Uh, Although, uh, I mean, I'm talking through it right now. I'm going to run out of time here. That doesn't mean I run out of time to do the word. That just means uh, the timer is going to move here. And I'll talk about that in a second. Okay, so what word can I do here? Pre... Okay. Crawling, played, dilapidated. I've got to use that S. And B, you really, I really want to use these. Bleed. Bold and bolden. I can use that PR as well. Predilections. Okay, I'm gonna do predilections. Let's see that. Predilection. Uh oh, did I spell that right? Predilections. How about? Oh my gosh, did I even spell that right? Pred Let's pretend I spelled it right. Okay. P R predilections. Predilections. Uh, you know, that, that's going to bother me. Hi, Ben. Good morning. I'm playing some Wordsy. Welcome to Words on Wednesday. Uh, this is a show that I'm going to do every other Wednesday where I focus on word based games and also read books and excerpts of books and graphic novels. Uh, earlier, we looked at a Star Wars um, novel. Uh, where did I put it? which I just dropped on the floor. Uh, and we also looked at Amora. Uh, this is now on Kickstarter from our friend, uh, Cri Michael Cribs. He's part of Ivy Studios. Um, he is the art director there and they're doing things with Ivy Labs now, which are the passion projects of their staff. And this is the first one they've done. Fully fun on a Kickstarter and there, I'll drop a link there if you wanna check out more info, but good morning. Okay, so uh, I wanted to see predilection, P-R-E predilection. I did spell it right. Uh, P-R-E-D-I-L-E-C-T-I-O-S-N. T-I-O-N-S. Okay, so these are the letters I've used, so I'm going to score it. 5 plus 8 is 13. 16, 19, 21. Yay, 21. Okay, now this time I ran out of time. So, um, if you scored 20 or more points, which I did, but failed to get the bonus for stopping the timer, Timer. Keep the timer in the same spot of the solo card for the next round. Okay, so no bonus this time, but I'm going to be able to flip it over and leave it there. Because basically, if you're down here, if you don't get 20 or more points and you don't stop the uh, timer, you go down one spot. And then if you get a bonus here, it's going to be the smaller bonus rather than the larger bonus. But because I scored more than 20, I'll stay up there. Okay. Uh, ben, have you played Wordsy before? I really, I, this is one of my favorite word games. Okay, so I'm gonna take these four letters, we discard them, move these down, and refill for the third round, third of seven rounds. Oh, there's a rare letter, so Q, I can, if I use that, it's a plus two. <coughs> Another one, uh, F plus one, a C, and a W. Now here again, the two plus two rule, cannot have two of the same letter, cannot have two uh, or more, or more than two, um, wait, cannot have more than two of the same letter or cannot have two rare letters. So this gets discarded. I'll go here. Yep. Banosteen says, yes, Wordsy is very good. I wonder if Wordybot, Wordsybot is still running. I don't know if Wordsybot is, but um, I have the app Avowel, A-V-O-W-E-L, like a vowel. And that's a free one that's, um, that is wordsy basically on an app. And um, I was saying earlier, whenever I think I'm a, a good player at this, I just go play the app and get crushed. <laughs> so it keeps you, it keeps you uh, grounded. Okay, so I'm gonna start the timer and then I'm going to uh, figure out a word. I, I'm already thinking of one word that I, I know I can spell. Hopefully it's enough points. But I'm thinking qualified or quantified. Qualified will get me eight, 10, 11, uh, they won't give me that many points, though. That's the thing. Can I do qualification? Qualification. I'm going to do qualification. Qualification. Let's see if that... Well, let's see how that goes. So I stopped the timer. Uh, so I've got Q-U-A-L-I-F... A, uh, F-I-C-A... 
T-I-O-N. Okay, it's got five uh, plus eight is uh, 13, 16 plus the bonuses, 17, 18. Oh, only 19, darn it. But because I'm the top space here, if you finish uh, 15 or more points and you're on the top um, score, uh, you get the, or the top spot of the solo, you get the bigger bonus, so plus two. Cool. Ah, okay, yeah, I think uh, Gil shut down when a Val released. It was a Twitter account that did. Oh, a Twitter account. Oh, cool. I don't remember seeing that. Or maybe I do. Uh, now I'm, uh, I'm confused. Which, I know there was a, maybe it was Wordsy. I think you're right. Okay, uh, so that's the third round. Let's go to the fourth round. Refill the letters here. G, J, okay, that's a J. That's not going to go because we already have two rare letters. M, another G. Another G, again, uh, rule of two and two, uh, you can only have two of the same letters, so G goes, and L. Okay, I'm gonna hydrate one more time. And friends, uh, stick around, this is Words on Wednesday. I'm gonna play, I'm playing Wordsy, and then we're gonna do a couple of crosswords, and then right at 9 a.m. I'm shutting it down because I'm gonna go visit my brother. Uh, again, this is something we're gonna be doing every two weeks here on uh, my Twitch channel, and you'll see it later on uh, YouTube. So those of you watching on YouTube, uh, thank you for hanging out. Okay, what can we do here? What's the word? Okay. Well, I can I can start the timer. Um, let me see, was it this way? Yeah. I'm definitely gonna run out of time on this one. That's okay, I need to find a good word here. Claim, claiming. Um, by the way, you can't use the same word twice or use a, a form of the word twice. You, you always have to come up with unique words. Um, blaming. Um, Embargoing, embargoing would be a good one, but I really want to show you can embalming. Ooh, embalming. I was gonna use one of those. Uh, pre. No fl flame. I don't think I can use any. the Q quagmire is one with a Q, but um, I don't know if I can do that. I think I'm gonna do with embalming. I think that's the best I can do. Or Flaming, flammable, in, in flaming, e n flaming. Yeah, we're gonna do n flaming. Is that a word? N flaming. I'm, I I know it's probably a little cheat here, but it's early for me, folks. And. Like inflaming, right? Inflaming. Uh, yeah, it is. Okay. So I've done inflaming. Now we're going to spell it out. Again, here in Wordsy, you have no vowels. They're just consonants. Um, so E N F L A M I N G. Inflaming. And you just score the letters that you use 10, 14, plus 2 is 16, plus a bonus 17. Wow, only 17? That is not good. Okay. So 17, um, I was not able to pause. Um, so if you scored fewer than 20 points, move the timer down. So I'm gonna move the timer down to the two spot now. Boo Earns. And get it, Boo Earns and Flaming. <laughs> get rid of this card and we've got round number five. There's an N, another N, A, B. And an H. Ooh, interesting here. This is going to be a, a tough one. Wow. Wow. I don't know about this one, folks. Double G's, double N's. And H, a B. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, this is, uh, this is going to be tough. Start the timer. It's on the second one here. I did embalming. Um, hench... Henchman, no, um, hunchback, oh. blaming, blaming, um, habitating, 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 yeah, habitating, habitating, 
are you enjoying Brenner? I am. I, uh, this is one of my favorite word games of all time. I'm I'm always uh, a fan of this game. Um, habitating. Yep, habitation is the noun, and uh, you can use it as a verb, right? Again, I'm I'm making sure here, folks. The act of inhabitating. Habitation. Uh oh, maybe I can't use habitating. Um, it's a noun, the act of hab inhabiting. Wow, is this, uh, what is the correct spelling for habitating? I gotta, I'm, I'm just checking online here. Uh, how to spell habitating correctly. It's, I, I see a bunch for habitation. Okay, let's check Cambridge. Okay, Cambridge uh, English Dictionary, habitation. Habitate. Habitate. Oh, I don't, I, inhabitate? The act of, or habitat. Hmm. Maybe I can't use that one. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm cheating a little bit here, folks. Um, let's go to Collins Dictionary. Habitate. To so use a habitat. To habitat a place. And then just the gerund form of it, right? Habitating. You work soon. Huh. Habitation. I don't know if I can. Can I use habitating as a uh, or habitate, habitat, habitate, habitation? Yeah, I think I'm wrong. Okay. So how about inhabitate? Ah, that's not right. I think I got a I got a boo boo, folks. So I'm gonna get a zero on this one. So I don't see it. Aren't you missing the T on the board? Um, no. So okay, <clears throat> great. Uh, I'm glad you brought that up, Orange Crush. So <clears throat> in part of Wordsy, well, this is the great thing about this. You can use letters that are not. So you you can't use. Uh, there are no vowels in the deck. So you're going to have to, you'll use, you know, but you can use any letters you want. The only thing is you're only scoring the ones that are available here. So I can so type in, I can use the word, you know, um, uh, uh, a cat, C-A-T. That's totally legal, but there are no C's or T's here. So I score zero. So you really want uh, to use these letters here. Yep. I'm trying to use just, oh, just those letters. No, you can use any letters you want, but you know, you only score, you know, what's here. So I'm uh, I'm gonna okay tell you what I, instead of habitating, uh, we'll use um, habitation, habitation. Okay, and again just a little cheat, but I, I'm I'm doing poorly anyways. So let's score habitation. H a b i t a t i o n. Okay, only yeah all those letters for only I mean that big old word habitation, and I only scored those three letters. So five ten. Uh, 14 plus 1 is 15. Now, I did score 15. Um, I sc uh, paused the timer. I scored at least 15, and I checked the bonus spot. So I get the smaller bonus because I'm on level 2. And then I did not score more than 20, so it's going to stay at the level 2. Okay. So now what we do is take these four out and then slide these here. Oh, Brenner had the same problem. Yeah, and that's the thing. Uh, that's it, that's why I like this uh, more than other word games. That it gives you that option of, hey, you're not just limited to this. You can do whatever you want, but again, you only score the ones here. Okay, rule of two and two. You cannot have more than two rare letters, and you cannot have two of the same letter. More than two of the same letters, so the N goes away. P, A, C, and R, and an H. So we have two H's. That's fine. Okay, so I'm going to, again, start the timer, and then we're going to go. 
And even though I run, I'm going to run out of time here, that's fine. Uh, that's, uh, that's just for bonus points. Um, and what I'm doing here, what am I going to do? CH. Oh, there's two H's. That's not good. Um, church. Well, we can do church. That's going to do C-H-U-R-C-H. Again, I'm trying to do as many letters as I can. Church might be good, but um, preconceived, no. Uh, birch, okay. Um, chirping. Oh, yeah, chirping is a good one. I really want to use that second H, though, but well, I'm going to, okay. I'm going to write down chirping, like a bird chirping, right? Chirping. So now uh, I've written my letter. Timer's already done. C H I R P I N G. All right. So 5, 10, 14, 18, 20, plus the bonus one, 21. Woohoo. <clears throat> okay. I did not uh, stop the timer, uh, but I do get a bonus. I get the smaller bonus because I'm on level two. Um. Okay, that is it. So we got one more round. Let's slide these over. Thank you again for hanging out with us today. It is Words on Wednesday. My name's Ruel. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me today. I'm going to be doing this every other Wednesday, hanging out, playing word-based games, and checking out books and graphic novels. Okay, my final one here. Um, I'm going to start the timer. And what word can I come up with? I really want to use that W. So wrecked, wrecking, wrecked, uh, tomorrow, uh, drama, WH, pre, PR, warping, warped, warped would be good. Uh, watchmaker, watchmaker, yeah, watched, watchmaker is one word, right? Bookmaker, watchmaker. I'm going to do watchmaker. So I'm going to stop this here. Watchmaker. I wonder if I was supposed to write the word down first, then stop the timer. Okay, we're doing watchmaker. W A T C H M A K E R. Watchmaker. Okay, so we got 5, uh, 9, 13, 16, 18 bonuses. Uh, 18, 19. 20. Let me do that again. 6, 10, 14, uh, 18, 20. Yeah. Hey, I got 20 points. Yay. Uh, so 20 points. Um, stop the timer. I get the bonus, the smaller bonus. Now, if the game had continued because I got 20 and I got the uh, stop the timer, instead of level 2, I would be back at level 1. But this is the end of the game. doesn't matter. Now, for scoring, I've done it 7 times, 7 rounds. I eliminate the, my two lowest scores. So this one and this one. And we just add up these here. So uh, 40, 59, um, 59, 79, plus, uh, wait a second. Me and math, math doesn't jive with me, folks. I, I'm more of a word guy, obviously. Uh, 40, 59, uh, plus uh, 80, 100. Hey, I scored 100. 100 on the dot. But now we get the bonuses. Plus 2, 4, 6, 8, 11. And uh, no penalties. So penalties are, oh, uh, penalties. You get a penalty if you're on the bottom spot. Uh, you give, and um, yeah, and you score fewer than 20 points. So I never made it a bottom spot, thankfully. So no penalties for me. And that is my total, 111. Hey, Force of Glass, happy Wednesday. Good to see you. It is Words on Wednesday. Uh, we're playing word games and we are also, uh, we've looked at a couple of uh, books as well. Uh, let me show you one of them. We looked at this one earlier. Again, I'm just, uh, I just read little excerpts of them. Star Wars, the High Republic, uh, Tempest Runner. And we also looked at right now on Kickstarter available. It's available is Amora book. One of the stranger and statue series from Michael Cribbs at Ivy labs. Uh, so those go there. And also we play a word based games. We've just played a game of wordsy, a solo game. And, um, <clears throat> let me, Right here, thank you again for hanging out. We're not done yet, folks. We're here until 9 a.m. Uh, Pacific, 12 p.m. Uh, Eastern. And yeah, for us, a glass of the uh, artwork on Amora. Let, let me show, if y'all just showed up, it, gorgeous, gorgeous artwork. Um, we I did a non-spoilery uh, quick look at it, um, just the first couple of pages. I mean, just gorgeous, right? And 
you know, I'll just flip through it without spoiling it just real quick, just to give you all a sense of what it's about. You know, really, really cool. Good stuff. And I want to thank Austin and his team for sending this over. Uh, this is a pre-production pre um, copy, by the way. All right. And um, so now what we're going to do, again, it's Words on Wednesday. Thank you, friends, for hanging out. I am going to, let's do a crossword together, shall we? Um, let me get the crossword ready to go. And do, 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 here we go. Whoop. All right, so let me get the handy dandy keyboard here. And this is the LA Times crossword for today. Um, we're gonna start, if you know the answers, feel free to, let's play along. Just write an A with the number like A1 if you know what an Alaskan Islander is. I do all the crosses and then I go down. If you know it, just shout it, you know, D plus the number for down and uh, so forth. So Alaskan Islander, anyone know what that is? That's an Aleut, okay. A bar Flyer. What is a bar flyer? Ugh. Forest of Glass, uh, folks. Oh, yeah, no worries. Um, lurk and work. Uh, get your work done. Be be safe. And uh, thank you for joining us. To live in nice in LA, this game seems harder than when we played at the Sour Brewery. Maybe the... <laughs> to live in nice LA. That's right. I forget we played Wordsy. Yeah. You know what it was? Um, here, let me... Uh, I, I got to go back to this. So... I feel like the letters this time, again, it's random, right? They come out, the, the letters we got this time were tough. And there was like, you know, double H's and double G's. Like, those are never easy. But uh, I think you're right. I think it was tougher than the time we played at the brewery. <laughs> okay. So, let's go bar flyer. I don't know what that is. Early garden spot. That's got to be Eden, right? Yep. And uh, like the yolk in Eggs Benedict, uh, poached? Oh, no. Uh, not poached. Yoke uh, Runny. Yep. Uh, MLB Triple Crown category. Um, let's see. Home runs. Um, what's Triple Crown? Average. Uh, RBIs. Govern. Rule. <coughs> 42 US gallon containers. Huh. Try this. Here. Flying Geese Formation. A V. Hall Partner. Uh, Hall and Oats. Yeah. What's your favorite Hall Notes song, folks? No can do. Uh, that's I think that's probably mine. Uh, tries to make a point. Tilt. Cocktail with a splash of olive juice. Uh, dirty martini. I used to enjoy those. Sierra Nevada Resort. Tahoe. Places for hoops, maybe. Hoops. Ears. Uh, crime boss Don eagerly excited uh, I don't know the Martian star Matt Damon word with print or note print or note word of descent is nay and late NBA legend from oh no Kobe Lakers uh, Mopey States Mouse is the only one to win a killer surprise, a graphic novel. Have y'all read that by Art Spiegelman? If you have not, please, highly recommend. If you're ever going to read one graphic novel of your life in your life, Mouse is the one, in, in my opinion. Hi, Variant Hex. Hi, just here for Lurk and Work. I'm going to cook you through. Yeah, thank you for joining us, Variant Hex. Good to see you on here. Uh, yeah. I just, the second I saw that clue to live in nice and I thought, thought of you, uh, 44 across very fitting to you. Isn't it though? That, I thought that was so, uh, the, again, I did not plan this folks. Graphic novel uh, by Art Spiegel and his mouse, uh, caps, for example, font. Nope. Uh, certain agents area region. Nope. Uh, it starts with an RE. Uh, I'll come back to that. Corrective surgery acronym. LASIK? Whoops. Took a load off. Uh, the Beatles. She's leaving home. Music industry advisory and a warning that may result from interpreting misinterpreting this puzzle's theme. Ew. <coughs> uh, took a load off. Sit? Oh, sat. Thank you, Brenner. Uh, let's go to 62. Doorstep delivery at times. 63 October birthstone is it an opal it is main line one of Snoopy's brothers 
I thought Snoopy only had one brother, Spike. Wow. Uh, Bunyan's blue ox is Babe. Fishing tool is a uh, rod, reel, lures. No. Uh, let's go down. If you know the answer, type D in the number, and then uh, we'll go down. Principal. I, wow, I arch? Oh, fishing gear, lures. I, we just had that over there. Bituate. Oh, um, okay, I'm, my brain is fried now. Expected loser. Five down, Sheridan of Ready Play One. I, I don't know the actor's name, sorry, Ty. Oh, it is Ty, okay. Most arid is the driest. Ben says underdog. Oh, nice. Unexpected loser. Underdog. Thank you, Ben. Hi, board game spam. A fit. Fit. Eight. Bone in the torso. A rib. Yep. Screeners at LAX. TSA. Boo. <laughs> oh, nice one. Thank you. Force of glass. Able. That is correct. Fit and able. Number 10. Not on target. Errat. How do you spell that? Is it two T's? No. Uh, errant. Errant. 11 down. Daft Punk for one. Um, thank you, Forrest Glass. Um, uh, duet. Fashion magazine since 1945. L. Condition suffix. Ness. Yeah. Or, yeah, condition Ness. Okay. Um, one more time. Over. Stadium sounds. Roars. Uh, contend by R-O-F-L cousin L-M okay rolling on the floor laughing laugh my ass off bring in earn yep one on a fan site oh idle cozy spot is a nook DB's stats defensive back stats interceptions a uh, little kick is a tang. Petri dish filler. Oh, what is that? I, oh, Ben, thank you. And newer for three down. Habituate is a newer. Thank you, Ben. Anyone know three thirty-three? What is that? Petri dish filler. Uh, Georgetown athlete and Hoya. Just do it. ABCs. I heard Michelle say it in the other. Uh, I heard Michelle say in the other room. Are you watching? What is 33? Uh, Tillum and I said, like, LOL, I like your boot at TSA. We feel the same. When we went to Japan, we had such a wonderful experience in the airports. But once we landed at LAX, TSA was yelling at us to keep walking. <laughs> USA. USA. And now, having said that, I haven't had too bad of an experience with TSA. Yeah, I, I mean, knock on wood. Um, having now, having said that, here here's a fun fact. I can hear Michelle yelling from the other room, but I don't know what uh, O R because she knows the petri dish filler. She's more the science person in our family. Um, speaking of TSA, uh, whenever a fun fact, whenever I fly internationally, I always shave the beard. Always. I, I'm clean shaven when I fly overseas. Oh, there it is. Okay, Michelle was saying agar. Uh, agar is it agar? Agar? Thanks, Michelle. But uh, Ben has confirmed. Thank you, Ben. Okay, let's get back. Ritz period. Um, bold sounding trouser material. Bold sounding is khaki. Oh, bold sound. That's funny. Khaki or cocky. <coughs> Coral. City famous for uh, cheesesteaks, Philly. Soothsayer, Oracle. Uh, kill as a bill, Vito. Voila, there. Gossip spreader, 43 across is sulks, thank you. Uh, that is forest and glass, got it. Oh, got our sulks, well done. So mopey state sulks. Okay, let's continue down. Coral. 
Hola, Johnny Deathhawk. Five minutes before work that I dropped. It. Appreciate it, Johnny. Hope you and uh, Brain Jar are doing well. This is Words on Wednesday. Um, I'm doing this every other Wednesday morning now where I focus on word games and do crosswords. And I'll read uh, excerpts from books, uh, one of them. Uh, real quick, I, I gotta shout them out because I'm a, a huge fan. I'm a huge fan of Ivy Studios. Uh, they are publishing Amora. This is the first time they've done a graphic novel. It's fully fun on a Kickstarter, but they have like uh, two days left um, in their Kickstarter and you can check out uh, more info in the link that I'm dropping right there. Uh, really cool graphic novel, um, but this is just a pre-production copy. Uh, just a real quick flip through and yeah, be sure to check it out, friends. And what we're doing right now is uh, we are finishing up the LA Times crossword. So let's get back over here. We're going, we were going on the downs. So gossip spreader, I don't know. Uh, Master of None Emmy winning writer Waif, uh, Lena Waif. Um, do, 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 um, nerve cell part 54 hustled. Ben says LAX in my experience is one of the most reliable airports for providing horrible experiences. Uh, is it Axon? Yeah. Oh no. Uh, Axon, Axon, uh, Brenner. Thank you, Brenner. Hustled. Uh, guess stab, common flag feature star, corn throwaway the cob, pub pick uh, an IPA, uh, King's Disease Grammy ri winning rapper um, is it Nas? Yeah, a uh, word with print or note, moot point. Nope. Let's go across here. Certain area, a certain agent's area, huh? Oh, explicit content music industry advisory and a warning that may result from misinterpreting this puzzle's theme explicit content oh okay so we have oh so crude crude oil barrels for 42 us gallon containers a dirty martini a graphic novel and it's all explicit okay doorstep delivery at times noel uh main line uh aorta one of Snoopy's brothers is Andy. Really? Snoopy has a brother named Andy. I did not know that. And 54 down is sped. Thank you for the glass. So sped is hustled. Oh, uh, okay. I, I just, I know Snoopy had a brother named Spike, but I didn't know he had a brother named Andy. Uh, fishing tool, a spear. Uh, Brits period. What is that? Coral set? No. Gossip spreader, spreader is a yenta. Realty. Oh, realty. Okay, like a realtor. 40 across his foot. Oh, yeah. Foot. Um, footprint, footnote, and then a full stop. Thank you, friends. There it is. It took us 12 minutes, 24 seconds. I really appreciate it. Uh, we are done and thank you right on time it's we are we are all done it's been our words on wednesday folks we have looked at emora we have looked at the latest of the star wars high republic novels tempest runner we played wordsy um thanks to our um friends uh, gil hova and crew there and we also did uh la times crossword thank you so much great job all and um Ben stops. Uh, ben, uh, ben Osteen says we don't say period. Oh, for, it's full stop. Got it. Johnny Deathhawk. Snoopy had siblings. I guess. I, yeah. You know. I remember. Uh, I remember reading about his. I don't know why I remember this, but Snoopy had a brother named Spike, and he lived in Needles, California. And I think I remember that because as a kid, we went to Vegas a lot with my parents. Um, you know, we would drive. You know, every couple of months to Vegas. You know, that was my parents' vacation spot. And we'd always drive by, and we'd, we wouldn't drive into Needles, but we'd see the freeway. And I remember my brothers and I was like, Needles, that's where Spike lives. And we would always get excited because it, we just knew that Stoopy had a brother named Spike. But Andy, I don't remember Andy. So anyways, friends, again, thank you. Let's raid someone. And then I'm going to go head out, visit my brother, going to hang out with him for the day, uh, have some lunch. Um, let's find someone to raid. Uh, who should we raid? Who shall we raid now? Do, 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 do. Ben says, wasn't there Snoopy... Wait, seven siblings? Two sisters and five brothers? 
Oh, I okay, you're right. I do remember a sister named Belle too. Yeah, Belle. So Belle, Molly, Spike, Marbles, Andy, Olaf, and Rover. Snoopy and his siblings are all from Daisy Hill. Oh, I, I gotta put this up. Wow. Ben just uh, taught us all about Snoopy and his siblings. Oh my gosh, I had no idea he had that many siblings. That's great. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> Learn something new every day, folks. There it is. Uh, you learned Snoopy's lineage right there. <laughs> a copy and paste. Nice. <laughs> okay, awesome. Thank you, Ben. And thank you, friends, for joining me today. We are going to raid. Um let's raid uh is there anyone board gamers out there? I, I got we gotta show some love for some board gamers. Um board gamers. No board gamers there. Slicker Drips. Slicker Drips is playing. What is that? The Manhattan Project. Okay, we're going to raid Slicker Drips. Uh, so let's show some love for Slicker Drips. I am going to start the raid right now. I hope you all have a great day where, wherever you are. I appreciate you. And there is Slicker Drips. I'm going to start the raid right now. Start raid. And um, stick around. I'm going to be back tomorrow. Or actually tonight. 7 p.m. Pacific. Uh, so later tonight, later today, Michelle and I are going to continue our Lego Star Wars adventure. We're putting together R2-D2. Come back tonight. And if not tonight, tomorrow, 12 p.m. on Rado's channel, we're going to be playing Isla Cats Explore and Draw. Thank you again, friends. Have a wonderful day. Uh, appreciate y'all hanging out with me on um, Words on Wednesday. Bye now.